The Flames have a big decision to make. Over the past week, we've seen all three goalies get starts, and there have been some interesting results to say the least. In this video, we will explore the Flames' plans between the pipes for the remainder of the season. Welcome to Flames Digest, I'm Mark Griffith. If you're new around here, you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe because 84% of the people watching are not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors on the Calgary Flames, then make sure you subscribe and join the fastest growing community of Flames fans on the internet. We're on the road to 1.5k subs, so why don't you join the crew? But like I said, the Flames have a big decision to make and it of course involves the goaltenders. So we'll kind of be exploring an article that Ryan Pike wrote from Flames Nation. And he kind of, you know, in the media right now, they're talking a lot about the Flames goalie carousel and what's going on in the crease within Calgary. And so Ryan Pike has written a pretty good article that shows what's going on here. So the Calgary Flames have three goaltenders under contract right now that they really like. Veteran Jacob Markstrom, backup Dan Vladar, and up-and-comer Dustin Wolf. At present, the Flames' playoff math is fairly perilous. If the team's focus hasn't already switched to building for next season, it soon will. With 17 games remaining, now 16, this was written before last night's game against Vegas, and three goalies they really like, how should the Flames divide up starts? We did see Dustin Wolf get the start last night against Vegas. I'll get into more detail about how he played and that game later in this video, but it shows that the Flames are willing to give him another chance in the NHL after so far, he has been a little bit sketchy. Obviously, Markstrom is an absolute stud this year, Vesna candidate, and Dan Vladar is a very solid backup that could potentially, potentially, keyword here, be a starter on another team. Um, let's continue here. And yeah, we see and hear you trade Markstrom camp. If Markstrom wants to play elsewhere in the future, cool. They'll deal with it in the offseason. The name of the game for the Flames right now is ensuring that the player, the person, and the asset are in the best position they can be heading into the offseason. Make sure Markstrom is not only rested, but obviously healthy. Um, make sure that his... His price is at an all-time high. You know, the, the quality of the asset here. You need the most value. Markstrom is extremely valuable right now. Keep him that way. You know, if you play him too much, especially with this decor that the Flames have been playing lately, I mean, look at all the goals they gave up against Carolina, Florida, Colorado. You don't want Markstrom, you know, <laughs> in those games and his value decreasing at all. So take care of him, especially... Also on just the mental side of things for Markstrom, obviously he's been very unhappy with the Flames organization, extremely unhappy with the media. So kind of just keep his name out of the trade talks, let him play hockey or let him just cruise the rest of the season and then he can decide what he wants to do in the offseason and so can the Flames and everyone is happy. Let's continue. In an ideal world, a good breakdown of starts between the three goalies would see Wolf get four games, he's already had one, Vladar get four games, and Markstrom get the remaining nine. This wouldn't see any particular goaltender get sidelined, maligned, or disrespected, but would give each a chance to show their worth and build some confidence heading into the offseason. So obviously, Mar Markstrom would get the bulk of the playing time in an ideal world. I mean, he'd still want to play. He's getting paid the big bucks to win games and to play well. Um, so assuming... I'm, I'm assuming, and so is Ryan Pike here, that the Flames would put him in the majority of games, but still let Vladar and Wolf get a chance. We've seen it lately. Vladar's played a couple through Markstrom's day-to-day -day injury. That's a little bit interesting, <laughs> if it really is a legitimate day-to-day -day here. And then, of course, Wolf played last night and might play more in the future with the games remaining in the season. Now, to add even more legitimacy to this, we have to bring in the man himself. We've got an F-bomb, ladies. Boom! Yes, Elliot Friedman on the 32 Thoughts podcast had quite a bit to say about the Flames um, goalie carousel as well and just talk about Jacob Markstrom. So, he, Friedman on 32 Thoughts, this is just me talking, but I don't know how much we're going to see Markstrom the rest of the season. He cites that you can't risk him getting hurt, and he thinks you might see some lower event hockey. So maybe he won't be playing in the most intense games remaining. I mean, look at the last two games the Flames played, Colorado and Vegas, two major, major contenders. Markstrom didn't see any playing time through the day-to-day -day injury. So, Friedman, 
you you can listen to the podcast. It's about 40-ish minutes in that they're talking about the Flames here. Maybe 35 if you want to go take a listen. But essentially what they said is not sure if Markstrom will play that much. They really, really need to keep him healthy so that he can be as valuable as possible going into the offseason. And that being said, he can still be valuable for the Flames if he remains a Flame through the rest of his contract or at least up until his UFA year, and maybe the Flames will deal him at that trade deadline of that season. But either way, keeping Markstrom happy and healthy is essential, because the Flames, let's face it, they're not going to make a push for the playoffs this year. With that big win last night, the race for ninth place is on. As the person who I was watching with last night, shut up my boy Ponch, um, he said that right as the Flames won, the race to ninth place is on. Just hilarious. Seems like the Flames love a ninth place finish, and it looks like this year might be another one of those. But keep Markstrom happy, keep him healthy, keep the rest of the Flames healthy, and give especially Wolf, but also Vladar, a good shot here to show that they are NHL caliber goalies and get them that really, really professional experience. Now, that being said, is Wolf ready? Last night, Vegas was in town. It was the return of Noah Hannafin to the Saddle Dome. A lot of people did boo every time he touched the puck. I was actually surprised that that many people booed. Um, it was a very, very exciting game to watch. Well, I say that. It was an exciting third period. The game was a little bit slow throughout, but a lot of Flames played very, very well, especially Dustin Wolf. He's been shaky in the NHL so far every time he's come up from the Wranglers, but he played really, really well last night. Ideally, Wolf would close out the Wranglers' regular season. If he could get a week or two of starts in the NHL, then he could get some reps in the NHL, go down to the AHL, finish the season strong, and head into the playoffs with some swagger. The Flames have given Markstrom time off in the past to recover from recurring bumps and bruises, so using such a window to get Wolf some games would make a lot of sense. Now, Wolf obviously played last night, and he played well, so let's take a look at the stats here. Wolf got the win, in his start, 28 saves on 29 shots, just the one goal against from Anthony Mantha. He played sensational. That save he had against William Carlson, oh my goodness, he really showed his agility there. He was playing like a young and spry wolf pup, you know? My goodness, he was looking good out there. I know he's not the biggest guy, but when you're that agile and that quick, you can make things happen. Look at Dominic Hasek and what he did in his career with all the Vesnas. Maybe Wolf is the next Hasek. Another few notables there. Those are the rest of the guys that got points last night. But Coleman got a couple goals. Sharon Govich got a big one. And Coronado very deservedly got a goal. He played what I believe is his best game as a flame. His best game in the NHL so far. And he was rewarded with a big, big goal. We had a huge save by Wolf on one end. Dryden Hunt made an insane play. Is he ever playing good lately, showing that he belongs in an NHL lineup, especially with this Flames organization, showing that they believe in him? But he made a great play and a great pass over to Coronado, who absolutely wired it home, and that essentially sealed the deal for the Flames, a big win against Vegas, and that race to ninth place in the West is on. It was a huge win, but Dustin Wolf, did he prove that he's ready? I think he did. This isn't any slouch last night. This is the defending Stanley Cup champion, Vegas Golden Knights. They may not be at full capacity right now with Mark Stone out, and they haven't even had Thomas Hurdle yet in the lineup, as he's also most likely hurt until the first game of the playoffs. But um, Wolf played sensational. He played so well. You know, quickly the game became... The storyline of the game became, oh, it's Hannafin's return to the Dome. It's his return to Calgary. To, oh my goodness, we are watching <laughs> just a sensational performance. A breakout, a true breakout for this goalie that the Flames have been waiting to break out for a while now. So, I think he will get more opportunities now for the rest of the season. With Markstrom, you know, more day-to-day -day injuries to recover from just those bumps and bruises like it was said. But... Wolf has shown he can do it, and I think the Flames will show a lot more confidence in him down the road. The Flames are not out of playoff contention yet, but I think most people have kind of gathered that they aren't making the biggest push. I mean, Ryan Huska kind of said, trust the process more than look at the wins this season kind of thing. So either way, it's exciting as a Flames fan to see that Dustin Wolf can keep up at the NHL level and win this team games. He was fantastic, and it'll be very interesting to see what the Flames do 
with the goalie carousel for the rest of the season. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new around here. We are on the road to hitting 1,500 subscribers, and it would be fantastic if we could do that because I love the community we're building here. Flames Digest is just a blast to do, and it's so fun to engage with you guys. So if you like what you saw in this video today, make sure you subscribe and join the Flames Digest family. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a wonderful rest of your day.